Okay. Let's go. Um, I was distracted playing Factorio, so I'm going to set up now. And I'm going to use... I think this one. Yep, so get input five. Have that ready. Um, So my make test five script will will pull down the whatever's on the clipboard and put it in an input file. Then I'm gonna hi Ryan, good luck. Um, then I'm gonna do get input five. Actually, what am I going to do first? I think I'm going to do this first. So I'm going to have that open. As soon as I click, come over here, do get input, go back, grab the sample, grab the expected, go from there. Um, goal is to not fail. Um, yeah. Part one went decently yesterday. I wasn't too too sad about that, but part part two was not so good. Um, I'm consistently getting third on part one, so hopefully I can at least keep that up. So actually, maybe I'll do the get input first. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoot. Ack. Okay, uh, whatever, I'll figure it out. Um, so that's the example. Expected is five. This isn't going well. Okay, cool. So looks like we need some parsing. That's probably important. Two lines overlap, okay. Did I put this in the wrong place? I did, oh wow, this is not going well. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Not a problem, not a problem. So X, Y,
Okay. So then we need to calculate the n squared. Otherwise, print L1, L2. Okay, so <clears throat> zero to nine, five to nine, zero nine, five nine. How big are these numbers? Okay, we're just going to compute the entire grid. And then dy. Is that and then G of P one P one zero plus DX P one one plus DY plus equals one. Invert graph dot Q G
Hmm. So, one, two. One, 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 three. Wait, what? Oh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, then nine. Four, five. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Um, you know what? Let's just do. That's not right. Oops. Right, okay. Um, so the problem is that There we go. Also diagonal. Okay, so that was correct. Now we go into part two, where we do the exact same thing. Remove this. Expected is something, 12.
Oh, exactly 45 degrees. So if that's the case, or that's the case, Eight zero zero eight. His diagonal. Shoot. Um, okay, so I need to, so my diagonal calculation is wrong. Oh, maybe it's not absolute value. Zero, zero to eight, eight. Okay, detected that. Six, four.
Oh, because okay, so so I need to right. Um, if x equals Right, we're filling in too much of the grid. Um, so how do I detect this? Then this will work. Otherwise, g at x plus x1 plus i y1 plus i plus equals 1. OK, 8. Let's go pull this one back. Only in the if case. Two zero up to six four. That seems all fine, but there's only two diagonals, one two, I think there should be three. Okay, so if they are If the delta, I mean, okay, does this matter? Um, no, it shouldn't. Um, so this seems right because it's like if the delta x and y are the same, then it means that we're at a at an angle. Um,
<clears throat> Darn it. Um, why is this? Wait, there's only one three. I'm missing a diagonal. I'm missing a diagonal. Two, zero, to six, four. So got that one. What about eight, eight, comma, zero, to zero, eight. Got that one. Okay. What about zero, zero to eight, eight? Oh, there's another diagonal? Oh, I bet it's this one.
Oh, shoot. Nine, five, nine, four. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, I, I am really just dumb. No, wait, hold on. So up and to the right. I need to concentrate here. Okay, well that was bad. Wait, how did I... Jump the leaderboard? Oh, because Ryan, Ryan hasn't solved yet. Well, um, that was ugly. But I kind of liked this. I, well, no, I didn't. This was really annoying. Okay, what was wrong?
with my, well, first of all, I checked for diagonals. I didn't need to do that. That was stupid. But then what was wrong with this thing? Oh, it's the Y value. I needed to go backwards or forwards. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I can clean this up. V of x1 plus i. Right, because the y values aren't necessarily sorted the same way. There's two different, if the x value is increasing, so th this always works because I sorted to make sure that that was the case. But for this one, you have to determine which direction. So y1 plus i slope equals one if Okay, I should have I should have just corrected it, given up, and just done this version, but um, a lot sooner. Uh, one if Okay, so the, yeah, that that is correct. Okay. Um Uh-oh. Adding the actual call is necessary. Okay. Um. I haven't taken algebra in forever. Okay, so basic math skills. I, I need to retake algebra. Um, So what else is there to say here? Um, 
what did I think of this problem? I thought it was actually decent. I kind of liked it. Um, I didn't do well, but you know, that's whatever. Yeah, so I, I noticed that, which was really good. Um, if I hadn't noticed that, then I would have been really screwed. Um, I thought this parsing went okay. Uh, this went okay. Part one, I mean, it was slow, but like, I think I got fourth again. Fourth, 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 fourth. How, f how much faster was Sam? A couple minutes, okay. Yeah, and my delta times is atrocious. Yeah, mainly because I don't know math. So that's depressing. Okay, um, that's nicer. Actually, we can get rid of L all uh, entirely and just do that for loop here. Or no, we can't. Um, Right. Hmm. I don't know, this wasn't that bad. Yeah, having answer and then just using a for loop is actually pretty fast, um, like for my brain. So let's see here. Oh, I beat you on part one. How did I do that? I'm not looking at chat, by the way. Sorry. 15. Oh, you were fifth. Okay. Well, I mean, still beat me at part two because your delta time was actually good. My delta times are what's killing me, honestly. Like, it's just 
so bad. Okay, I, I, there's got to be a better way of doing this. Actually, wait a second. This is the same code. Right? Well, not really. Um... Because x1 equals x2 or x y1 equals y2, so sorting will actually um, sort do what we want, which is to put the one that is smaller first, making the range based for loop work better later. Um, okay, let's put that out here. Oh, right. Tuple of tuple of int int tuple int int. What is it called? Um, the thing that's for generators. Such bad code. Unbelievable. And then I'm just going to use the same for loop from here. Oh. 
There we go. Okay, so this is kind of elegant because basically the code ends up being the same for this part, at least. And then And then we can delete all that, not necessary. Okay, so um, I think that's all I'm going to do for cleanup. I guess I should remove this stuff. Regex matching. I don't know if that was useful. Um, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's never a, a bad idea for me to just do the regex parsing version because at the, at, in the worst case, it forces me to, to actually understand each line of input and, and match against it. So, you know, that, that's not, that's not the worst thing ever. Okay, am I happy with this? Uh, not especially, this is atrocious. Um, but you know what? I think it's okay, like, yeah. Good thing is I, I might've gained a couple of points over some of the leaders. So Ryan's going to get a lot of points for part two. So I'm going to just root for literally everyone else to get part two done. Um, so uh, as far as the leaderboard goes. Um, well, um, let's see. Do I want to try this in OCaml? Hmm. Not really. So we're going to call it there. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to commit this. I'm going to um, play some Factorio and then we'll be at it tomorrow. So let me just put that in. Yeah, not top 1000, but close on part one and and not bad on part two. Maybe I should make my goal a little bit more realistic and like under 5000 or under 4000 um, each day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm still going to go for 1000 because, you know, that's that seems like a decent number. And one can always hope. So, oh, let's see here. So I guess, hmm, one of the issues is that like, the, when the test passes, 
then I don't really see it immediately because of all the random output. I don't know. There's not a ton that I can do about it um, that I can think of. Like I, I could like change this to like take in the print function as well, but that sounds really scary. So yeah, let's not. <clears throat> Yeah, and I can't type this because it could technically be a tuple that's arbitrarily sized, but whatever. Um, okay, so what else is there to do? Update the readme. Uh, um, oh, promote myself, right. Um, so if you go to my website, every day I have been posting on Advent of Code 2021, this blog post. It'll be in the link in the description, and you can read about my notes from each day. Um, so it's it's been it's been a it's been a journey um so i'm i'm going to continue doing this this is basically just brain dumps they're not too in depth but i i take note of some of the things that i ran into and, and do a little bit of explanation of some of the techniques that i use um today wasn't especially brilliant as far as the code goes i think that yeah, nothing was brilliant about it, honestly. <clears throat> so, um, uh, let's commit that, and I will see you all tomorrow. Where's the stop button? <clears throat>